Okay, so we have this uh, double summation here. Uh, the sum between i equals 1 and 3 of the sum between j equals 3 and 6 of i plus j. What's the answer? A lot of people tend to get this wrong. Okay, so let's have a look. Well, what, what does it? First of all, what does it mean? Um, well, let, we can actually put a sort of bracket around here because what it means is that first of all we are going to do this sum and then we're going to do the inside sum each time we iterate the red sum. So in actual fact, this double summation could be rewritten as for i equals 1, we are going to do the sum between uh, j equals 3 and 6 of 1 plus j, which is putting i equals to 1 in there. Add when i equals 2, which will be the second summation of this, i equals 2, we're going to do the sum between j equals 3 and 6 of 2 plus j. Add the third iteration here will be i equals 3. We're going to do the, uh, the sum between j equals 3 and 6 of 3 plus j. And that's what the double summation means. So we're doing a, a summation within each of the iterations. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we, um, what we get. Now, the easiest way probably to do this one, uh, let's just write it out again. That should give us a bit more space. So that's the sum. Uh, i equals 1 and 3, the sum between uh, j equals 3 and 6 of i plus j. Well, the easiest way to do it is probably to draw a table like this, uh, where we have here j and we have here i. And OK, we now we know we're going to go through this outer iteration three times. So here's i, 1, 2 and 3. Uh, and then we know that we're going to go through this one from j equals 3 to 6. So we need j equals 3, 4, 5 and 6. OK, so for the very first iteration, when i equals 1, uh, we're going to go from j equals 3 to 6. So this will be i equals 1 and j equals 3. So i plus j will be 1 plus 3. And then when we go the second iteration around this one, it'll be 1 plus 4. And then here, 1 plus 5. And then 1 plus 6. And then we're going to go through the second iteration here, which will be i equals 2. So we're going to have 2 plus 3, 2 plus 4, 2 plus 5 and 2 plus 6 and then the third iteration i equals 3 we're going to have 3 plus 3 3 plus 4 sorry i don't know where that came from 3 plus 5 and 3 plus 6 and then when we add all of this lot up that basically is the answer to the question uh, that's going to be 4 add 5 add 6 add 7 add 5 add uh, 6 add 7 add 8 add uh, 9 add um uh, sorry add 6, add 7, add 8, add 9, and the whole lot of that comes to 78. And so that is the answer. Uh, the sum here is 78. Okay, so that's got that right. And if you got that right, well done. Um, okay, so um, let's have a look, though. We, we can be a little bit more general, because obviously if we're going to have a more complex uh, double summation, we can't go around uh, uh, doing this table. So let's just have a look here, and uh, maybe what we can do is we can uh, use a different colour. So let's use... Uh, red to start with. If we um, look at the 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, we've got here 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and here we've got again 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and here we've got again 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is the sum of our j 3 to 6. And then if we maybe use another colour here, let's use uh, uh, blue. OK, so if we use blue, let's have a look at the i, 1 to 3. So we've got 1, 2 and 3 here, and we've got 1, 2 and 3 here, and we've got 1, 2 and 3 here, and we've got 1, 2 and 3 here, which is the sum of i from 1 to 3. And so basically another way we could write this in general, let's go back to the black pen, uh, in general we could write that the, the sum, this double sum here, uh, is the sum of the i's, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3, times the number of iterations of j, which in this case is 4, add the sum of the j's times the number of iterations of i. And if we, uh, if we look at that, then the sum of the i's, well, i is 1 plus 2 plus 3, uh, times the number of iterations of j. Well, j from 3 to 6 is 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 4. Add the sum of the j's, which is 3, add 4, add 5, add 6, times number of iterations of i, which is 3. And when we add that up, that will be uh, 24, uh, sorry, that'll be 6 times 4, add uh, 9, 18 times 3, which again gives us 56, uh, 78. So it gives us the same answer. Phew. All right, so. 
Now, just one other thing, um, which is quite interesting, is that we can write uh, the sum i uh, 3 equals 1 and j 3 equals 6, i plus j. It's exactly the same as if we flip the sums. 6, j equals 3, 3 i equals 1 and it's not always the case that you can do this but certainly for these types you can and the reason why you can do that is you can see that doing the outer uh, summation as i from 1 to 3 and then the inner summation of j from 3 to 6 is basically here's the outer summation and then we do the inner summation and doing it the other way round here is here is the outer Sorry, here is the outer summation, and here is the inner summation. But either way, the sum of all of this lot is going to be exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which way round you do it. Okay, so that's uh, the first thing. Now, um, I tell you what, let's, let's do another one, because these are, these are quite interesting. Let's uh, imagine that we had, uh, for example, the sum between i equals 1 and 3, and j equals 3 to 6, of, for example, something slightly different, 2i add 3j. So instead of being i plus j, it's 2i plus 3j. Now, if we were to do the table on that one, and I'm going to generalise this later on, and it gives quite a good formula for um, uh, whatever. So here we have the i's and we have the j's again. So here we have the j's, which will be 3, 4, 5, and 6. And here we have the i's, which will be 1, 2, and 3. Well, clearly, let's put uh, i equals 1 and j equals 3. So that'd be 2 times 1 add 3 times 3, that would be this one, uh, and then for 4 here, actually I'm not going to have enough space am I, so it's going to be um, 2 times 1 add 3 times 4, and then it's going to be 2 times times 1 add 3 times 5, and then here it's going to be 2 times 1 add 3 times 6, and then in the second uh, iteration when i equals 2, it's going to be 2 times 2, because i is 2 now, add 3 times 3, 2 times 2, add 3 times 4, blah, 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 2 times 2, add 3 times 5, 2 times 2, add 3 times 6, and then when it's 3, it's clearly going to be 2 times 3, the third i loop, add uh, 3 times 3, 2 times 3, add 3 times 4, 2 times 3, add 3 times 5, and 2 times 3, add 3 times 6. If we look at this and we group it exactly the same way uh, as we did in the previous example, we will find that that sums to 3, which is uh, the number of j's, times 3, times the sum of the j's, 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, add 4, which is the, uh, the, 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 the sum of the um, i's, times 2, which is this number here, times 1 plus 2 plus 3, and that will come to 210. And basically the general rule here, if we call this one, let's uh, just make this slightly more general, i equals 1, 6, j equals 3, and let's say we call it a i add um, b j, so it's not 2 i add 3 j, it's a i add b j. Well, the, the general um, rule for the summation of that would be, a times the sum of i's times the iterations of j add b times the sum of j times the iterations of i. And that will sum that. Now, just uh, finally, there was one question that I saw on a, on a Maths Olympiad, which we can now answer instantaneously uh, by doing this. So let's just um, uh, let's try and keep the formula in there. So the, uh, the question was, uh, the sum between j equals 1 and k, uh, and then the sum of i equals 1 to k of 2j. OK, now in this case, um, we could write it as 2j add 0i. So basically our a in this example would be 0 and our b would be 2 i.e. 0 i's add 2 j's is the same thing obviously as, as 2 j so b would equal 2 and then so basically all we need to do now to to sum this is we can literally just put the figures in here so that would give us 2 uh, which is the value of um, Oh, sorry, so 0 for the value of a, so we can ignore that line, and it would be left with b, so b would be 2 times by the sum of the j's, well j goes from 1 to k, so that would be 1 add 2 add 3 add da 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 add k, 
times by the iterations of i. Well, there are k iterations of i, so it would be 2 times the sum of 1 to k times k. Okay, uh, and the sum of 1 to k, 1 add 2 add 3 add da 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 add k. Well, that's just the sum of the first n natural numbers is k, k plus 1 over 2. And so therefore, the sum of this here is equal to 2 times k, k plus 1 over 2 times k, which equals k squared, k plus 1. So you can see that um, in actual fact, even though the question in the, uh, uh, in the thumbnail is a relatively simple one, once we expand that to be AI uh, uh, plus BJ plus CK plus whatever, um, you can very quickly produce a formula uh, which, gives you, um, which gives you a very easy way of answering these uh, relatively simple double summations. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.